Welcome to the 37th annual Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. Tonight it's the number nine Mountaineers of West Virginia and the fourth ranked Oklahoma Sooners. To Bill Stewart got me all pumped up. <laughs> The 2008 Tostitos Fiesta Bowl is underway. This is Iglesias. He's out past the 15, loses his footing at the 20-yard line. Just really managed the game remarkably well. They put the tight end Joe John Finley in motion on first and 10. This is the ball carrier Alan Patrick. The senior tailback is good for five yards. Let's meet the offense for OU. They are big up front, an absolute load, averaging 320 a man. The senior center, John Cooper, the only one of them that's under 300 pounds. Duke Robinson, the left guard, is a first-team All-American. Backs and receivers, the Sooners are amazingly deep at the skill positions. Malcolm Kelly, second on the all-time OU receiving yards and touchdown lists. He starts despite a banged-up quad. This is Iglesias in motion. Patrick once again. And Patrick pushes a pile before Mark Magro, the outstanding strong linebacker, can push him back. The Mountaineers defensive front. WBU plays an odd stack 3-3-5. Three, three, tough to do without a dominant nose tackle, which they have in all Big East first teamer Keelan Dykes. The linebackers are led by Morgantown native senior Mark Magro. Reed Williams, another native West Virginian, having a great season in the middle. And in the secondary, Mundy and Wicks have really solidified what was a porous pass defense last year and made this WBU group one of the best pass defense teams in the country. Iglesias checks out for Dane Zaslaw, the fullback. And the handoff is to Patrick. So first and 10 for OU. Play fake. Manuel Johnson, the slot receiver, has the grab at the 32. And a few yards after the catch, he's taken down at the 34-yard line. Here's his replacement right down here. That's Cheney. Zaslaw and Patrick in the backfield for OU. Bradford loses the football, but bounces on it to recover. In this early defensive series, they look pretty good. OU has been outstanding on third down this year. A four-receiver set. Somebody oh. has his meat hook into Sam Bradford, and down he goes. For OU, Vaughn Rivers is deep for the Mountaineers. So Nall, who used to share punting duties, uncorks a good one. Our first look at Pat White and the Mountaineers' offense with Steve Slate, Slayton rather split wide. First and 10 for WVU. And this is White keeping, something we'll see an awful lot tonight. He lines up with Owen Schmidt, who is left on second and five. We'll meet the rest of the Mountaineers in a moment. White has room. And White has a first down and much more across midfield and out of bounds at the OU 45. Eight. The Mountaineers up front make the running game go. No seniors in this group, but they've done a great job in front of Slayton, White, and company. All Big East first-teamer Greg Isdander and tackle Ryan Stanchek make up a solid left side. The top 10 scoring offense is powered by the run game. When White and Slayton both go for 100 yards, WVU is 7-1 and one this year. Into Sooner territory. First and 10. This is Schmidt, the Morgantown cult hero, gets to the 40-yard line. Quickly, we meet the Sooners defensively. Senior Stephen Coleman starts in place with Demarcus Granger in the middle. The pass rush comes from sophomore Austin English. Nine and a half sacks led to Big 12. The linebackers, Curtis Lofton, the Big 12 defensive player of the year. Bob Stoops told us he's the best he's ever had as a head coach. And in the secondary, this might be Oklahoma's Achilles heel without starters Lendy Holmes and Reggie Smith. Darian Williams and redshirt freshman Dominique Franks get starts today. Well, Franks is really their fourth corner. High snap. This is Pat White. Another West Virginia first down. No active QB has run for more yards in the last three seasons. White will look to throw it. And a ball that's underthrown. Let him use his legs and his arms. He's in the shotgun on second and ten. Avoids the pass rush and dumps it off to Slayton. 
The Mountaineers also very good on third down conversions this year. 49%. That's a top 10 figure in the nation. White deep and another one just off target intended for West Lions. Uh, the penalty, by the way, was for an illegal formation call, and it's declined by OU. Fourth and eight, and look at this, guys. West Virginia keeps the offense on the field. Well, upon second thought, interim coach Bill Stewart's going to run his field goal unit out there. Pat McAfee's career long is 51. This is from 50 yards out. And McAfee is no good. Tonight for Sam Bradford and the Sooners. Six plays, two yards in their first series tonight out of the shotgun. And with Dingle coming hard, it's incomplete. Don't give him his rhythm. You're right, Johnny Dingle right up there now. He's the guy that's really been after the quarterback. Backer with a pocket, and that one swatted away. Final year to play with his teammates. Let's go for like two more years. Third and ten now. The dump off pass to Patrick goes absolutely nowhere. So once again, Mike Nolan, the punting unit on the field for OU. How about us for being liars? We go on the air and talk about the big offenses on the field tonight. Flag on the punt. Rivers lets it check up. Well, West Virginia's coming after them. But no, no, no. I hear there's a vacancy there. Yeah. Trinos and yeah. Nick Saban's yeah. and, and the, those stories taking over. You. There are a lot of Bill Stewart's out there at the collegiate level as well. Rivers from the 32. Oh. He's got a seam right up center field. Across midfield. There goes Vaughn Rivers. He's never taken one back to the house. And he's tackled at the 22. They think the hand off the slate. And White keeps. He's across the 20 yard. Your whole body. I do. He's right down here. Left tackle. Guy is a strong, strong tackle. High snap. This is Slayton trying to get around the line the left side. Rather, nothing doing there. Here's yet to pick on that deep corner. Let's see if they try it here. Instead, it's a dump off over the middle that Slayton can't hang on to. He was no good from 50 to start tonight. But the animated kicker is good from 38 yards away, and the Mountaineers crack the scoreboard first in Glendale. <laughs> that guy's coming off the bench and playing for him. It's a deep team. You gotta get the third down. I love that when the third stringers are making plays like that. <laughs> After the Mountaineer field goal, Alan Patrick runs into a wall and then bounces right off it. There goes Alan Patrick across midfield. Patrick at the 25, the 15, and taken down inside the 10 by John Holmes. An OU bowl history. Ooh, you were up last night. This is Chris Brown, and Brown is dragged down from behind. He's taking the goal. Chris Brown stays in. Brown didn't get a lot of carries early in the season, but has made out a great backfield along with Patrick. Oh. They run him down here. The legal block in the back, number 18 on the offense. That'll be a 10-yard penalty from the previous spot. Repeat second down. Michael Malcolm Kelly, uh, who they like down here, down to the bottom of the screen. The penalty marches him back to second and goal from the 20. Bradford throwing end zone overthrown intended for Iglesias. Third and goal from the 20 once again. A play fake to Brown. Plenty of time this time for Bradford. Oh, end zone intercepted. Quinton Andrews, the bandit safety. Boy, all that after a 73-yard kick return. The hand up the middle is by Noel Devine. Devine. He's got great avoid. He'll make you miss now in open spaces. Devine was right on his average with a nine-yard run. The pass is caught out on the flat. First and ten. Again, it's Devine in the backfield for Slayton. Devine takes the hand off, bounces off a tackle, and makes maybe a yard of it. Devine and Schmidt in the backfield on second and nine. White has a pocket and throws incomplete for Raynaud. Third and nine. Comes with blitz. And with the empty backfield, here comes Patrick White. First down, Mountaineers across midfield. Passing Navy's Chris McCoy. White keeps it. But can't get away from his pursuer. Second and eight, Divine the lone back with Patrick White. And White dumps it off to Devine. Another Mountaineers first down as he's wrapped up at the 31. But not any of them had a quarterback with the speed of Pat White. Play fake to Schmidt. White keeps it. And this time OU doesn't bite. Curtis Lofton leads. Do It makes you play discipline on defense. you got to account for the quarterback. 
and everybody else. High snap, White has trouble with it, but he's able to get it out to the freshman, Jock Sanders, taken down at the 25. The kind of punt that would bring you out of retirement. That's how <laughs> tall you'd like to be, <laughs> Coach Aiden. Third and four, and the pass is incomplete. In the closing seconds of the opening quarter, McAfee adds a second score. Owen Schmidt, Steve Slayton and company moving the ball effectively. 93 yards of Mountaineer offense in the opening quarter. Walking into Iglesias at the goal line for the Sooners. Iglesias is across the field. Another big kickoff return for OU as Iglesias is wrapped up at the 38 by Boogie Allen. Opening of the second quarter, and OU opens with a flag on the play. On the Holding, number 74 on the offense. 10 yard penalty from the spot of the foul with he first down. Players from all over the country, he's done a great job there. Brian Simmons takes over for Brandon Walker at right guard. And Chris Brown checks into the backfield on second and 17. Bradford with time in front of that beefy line, and he gets it complete out to Quentin Cheney. Again, with Malcolm Kelly having a little nick on the leg, he will play a role here this afternoon. Boy, great penetration. Again, with Brown in the backfield on second and 12. The quick pass to Iglesias, and he can't do much with that ball as he's wrapped up immediately by the... He checks in for Iglesias, the Sooners' leading receiver. There's a flag on the play. Bradford makes all kinds of room and time for himself. He's across the 40 and tackled at the 38-yard line. Now, Illegal somewhat. formation. Six men on the line of scrimmage on the offense. Number 79 was off the line. It's five-yard penalty from the previous spot. Repeat third down. You know... So now third and 16 after the penalty. Bradford, look out of the blind side. And Bradford goes down. Antonio Lewis. Particular case, you would have liked Sam Bradford to feel that and get rid of him. Vaughn Rivers ran a career long back in the first quarter. He signals fair catch at the 10 here. First and 10 for the Mountaineers from their 10 yard line. Pat White. Noel Devine still in the backfield with White. Pressure. White around the left side, and he gets out of bounds at the 11, forced out of the backfield set for White here on third and eight. Here comes the pressure again, and that one's incomplete. And then West Virginia uses a rugby punt. And the McAfee punt is away. Iglesias and Franks, the deep men. This is Iglesias. Pass the 40. Oh boy. Still on his feet past midfield with a flag down, and Iglesias is wrapped up at the 42-yard line. Full speed. During the return, illegal block in the back, number 41 on the receiving team, 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. In the offense for OU the rest of the day. Well, you know, he's only four of eight. We came in saying he's completing, uh, you know, 70% of his passes, but really nothing. Ten now. As OU moves the ball to the 38, the swing pass out of the backfield is caught by Jermaine Gresham, one of those big NFL style tight ends and a late hit out of bounds. There were, there were two fouls. After the play, dead ball, personal foul, number 41 on the defense. Unsportsmanlike conduct, number 19 on the defense. Oof. Both penalties will be from the end of the run. Wow. It'll be first and ten. And we for West Virginia. Scooter Berry has left injured. And Chris Neal, the redshirt freshman, has taken over a process. You can chip yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Second and nine, they hand it to Patrick. And he's wrapped up at the 20 by Chris Neal. Do we... You can see the three down linemen right there and three linebackers. Nobody blocked one of them. Thomas comes free again, and Bradford had a target. Bordier has been uh, magnificently executed. Garrett Hartley from 37 yards away. And Hartley is up and through. 30 of his last 33 over the past two seasons to put OU on the scoreboard in the second quarter. Six to three Mountaineers, 746 left in the half. Noel Devine is deep for the Mountaineers. This will be Vaughn Rivers from the three. Rivers gets away from the first wave and is shoved out of bounds at the get a huge year. He was unhealthy most of it. Mountaineers keep it on the ground with Noel Devine. 14 to 14 points. Yeah, it's gone according to plan, and the defense has been sensational. 
They have outrushed OU 72 yards to five. In the air is White this time, and that one caught by Raynaud of Noel Devine scoots around the corner. Tackled at the 38 by Curtis Lofton. A flag at the end of the play. Incidental face mask, number 16 on the defense. Five-yard penalty from the end of the run. Repeat first down. Virginia knocked on the door and said, we'll give you a shot at quarterback. He went to Morgantown. Owen Schmidt, like a runaway beer truck down the sidelines. Big Owen Schmidt, touchdown, West Virginia. A career-long touchdown run for Owen Schmidt that also stands as the longest touchdown run in Tostitos Fiesta Bowl history. That play right there, that's going to help that out. It is. Your math is impeccable. The point after is good. Joaquin Iglesias is the deep man for OU. And a pooch-style kickoff. Joe John Finley grabs it at the 25. And Finley will give the Sooners good field position as he asked him not to practice because he was hurting his teammates. First and ten for Bradford and the Sooners on the play fake. The home run ball down the middle of the field, and it's caught inside the 15 by Quentin Cheney. A long 35 plays of 40 or more yards this year. This is Chris Brown between the tackles. And grind it out, or they can go over the top. And you're talking about a team that's been over 40 points eight times this year. So we're talking about explosive team. About 11 of them this year. Down at the bottom. Yeah. Third and four. Bradford looks into the end zone and it's batted away incomplete. A 24-yard attempt by Garrett Hartley. He was good from 37 earlier. So the Sooners settle with three. They've got 11 yards rushing to West Virginia's 131. Who would have thought that coming in? None of this has happened the way the experts thought it would happen as Noel Devine takes the kick back across the 15. Still dancing on the sidelines. First and 10 from the 22. Devine takes the delayed handoff. He's it's not a bad guy to get the ball to once in a while either. Quick pass to Devine. Across the 25, he can run. Noel Devine down the sideline. Cuts it inside and taken down from behind. Ball came out. They call it ball down. down. Corey Bennett stripped it clean from him, and it looks like DJ Wolf has recovered for OU. No, I think the line's been called it down. Guard catch and run by Devine. Here's so far in the first half. White will keep it himself this time, but there's a lot of football left here, and Bob Stoops has been in this situation before in his career. White pumps once, and now he breaks himself free. First down, Mountaineers, and maybe more. Their dynamic quarterback is... First and 10 from the 24. Raynaud. And everybody stayed home for OU's secondary. OU has two timeouts left. Two and a half minutes in the half. White oh, keeps boy. it. He's got a wide open Raynaud. Touchdown, Mountaineers. Oh, that deceiving left-handed style. A 21-yard touchdown strike to Raynaud. Well, you know, Matt, it's Pat White, it's Pat White, then Noel Devine, and then Owen Smith, and then boom, out of nowhere comes Darius Raynaud for his 12th touchdown catch of the year. And you know, Terry, every time you see him catch one, it seems like he's wide open right there in the slot because everybody's worried about Pat White and all the running backs. There's no question the play action fake oh. draws the safeties up into the line of scrimmage and what happens all of a sudden, he half minutes and two timeouts remaining to get something going for the Sooners. But to do that, Pat, your offensive line's got to help you. Oh, yeah. You got to get protected and you've got to be able to set your feet. Iglesias picks it up after a couple of bounces. And to leave him, you know, yeah. this is it. This You're is in it. that locker room. It's an emotional affair in that locker room saying goodbye to your teammates. Big important down for Oklahoma right now. Third and two. Bradford out of the shotgun. Here comes Morty Ivy on the blitz, and it's caught by Iglesias right at the marker. Well, you can see it right there. Fourth and one. They keep the offense on the field. OU 7 of 16 on fourth downs this year, and they are stuck. No. Make it 7 of 17. And an opportunity to take a three-touchdown lead into the locker rooms. 
Devine pitches it back. The pass. And flags are down all over the field. Holding. Number 24 on the defense. Ten-yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic first down. That, that. Good play call by Calvin McGee going yeah. for the home run. Right, you call it. Schmidt. <laughs> takes a village to get him down on the ground. He didn't think he was big enough to play yeah. in the Big East. Could you imagine that? Yeah. White's pass is incomplete. Mountaineers are two of six on third down so far. White keeps. He's got a seam. And tackle just shy of the first down. Kurt Again, McAfee from 44 yards out. And that one is, in fact, blocked. Big play by the Sooners going into halftime. Important play for the Sooners, Bob Stoops. Well, the Crimson and Cream have something to smile about at halftime, but it's West by gosh, Virginia with the halftime lead. I hope I hope he does rethink it. He needs to stay at yeah. West Virginia, in my judgment, and set, settle on his senior year. So Noel Devine, who is filled in capably for Slayton, takes the kick back across the 20-yard line. And he pushes his way to the 24. Laura thanks from the 23. West Virginia begins the second half with a swing pass to Raynaud, and he is quickly swallowed up after a gain of maybe a yard by West Virginia sideline. We got some insight as to how their offense runs earlier, and the call draws an offsides violation. The seventh penalty of the game charged to the Sooners. Divine. Immediately tackled for a loss by sixth best conversion percentage in the nation. Just two of seven today, however. White's third down pass is incomplete. And Good place to start. How about a nice punt return for the Sooners, too? It's Pat McAfee with that rugby style punt. It's a good one. It backs Iglesias up to the 15 yard line. Iglesias breaks free of one tackler, but is taken out of bounds at the 16 by the We are in the Valley of the Sun. 26 Mountaineers. And it's OU's first offensive possession of the second half. Alan Patrick is the back. Bradford with time and with flags on the field finds Iglesias at the 30. That I thought was beautiful. After the penalty, first and 15. Patrick. And Patrick breaks free into the secondary. Ryan Mundy trying to corral him, and it's Reed Williams, your football team. First and ten from midfield, a play fake to Brown. Plenty of time for Bradford as he rolls and finds Iglesias across the 40. Walk. OU lines up with Cheney as the wideout. Gresham in motion on first and ten. And Bradford's first down pass is caught by Gresham. OU tight ends caught all of one ball. Brown and across the 20 yard line. This is Brown right up the middle. And a flag down on the oh, play. Brown's oh. inside the 10. Holding number 72 on the offense. Wow. 10 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Repeat second down. So second and 16 after the penalty. Trying with Alan Patrick this time, and Patrick doesn't gain much. West Virginia showing pressure. Oh, a hold. No flag on the field. Somebody had a handful of Johnny Dingle there. We saw it from a mile up here. And Garrett Hartley's on for the field goal attempt of 42 yards. And thanks in part to the non call, they have enough distance for Hartley to get OU on the scoreboard here in the third quarter. Five makes. It's amazing. One team kept coming in was averaging 43 points, the other 39. They scored a lot of touchdowns prior to this game. Noel Devine at the four. And across to the 25. Wide open at the post. Noel Devine tackles at the 30 yard line. Oh, it's second and five now for the Mountaineers. There's Schmidt in the backfield, blowing up his main. And it's White. And Schmidt comes off the field in favor of Devine on third and two. You see the OU bench trying to hoot and holler some enthusiasm. And White's third down pass is caught and then oh, dropped by oh, Jock Sanders. Dominique Franks deep for OU. And McAdoo, he has another good one on launch. Oh, boy. Franks fumbles, balls out! 
And OU goes out of the back of the end zone. The safety is recorded for WVU. Nick Harris was down there among others. And it all started with the big rugby style punt that brought Franks back about 10 yards to catch the football. Are you gonna sort it out though? Did you see a safety call? The ball was muffed into the end zone. Down there, it will be a touchback. Yeah. First and 10 on the 20. Took the ball into the end zone, then recovered by Oklahoma for a touchback, not the safety. Play action with Patrick. We got for Eric Wicks coming around the edge, and the reception made by Quentin Cheney. There he goes, taken out of bounds at the 20, or at the 40, rather, of minutes, and all of a sudden, the other guy, everything's going his way. By the way, Cheney by a defensive player into the end zone, and in that case, it would be a touchdown. On second and six, this is Patrick. On their first third down of the football game, OU is 0 for their last eight. Third and two here, Bradford had called a timeout, maybe to address such third down conversion issues, and out of the shotgun, he looks to the sideline. First down, OU, Joaquin Iglesias. Passes from them this year in this part of the field. They really miss it down here in the red zone. So after the big third down conversion, this is Brown. Straight arming Antonio Lewis near another OU first down. That line's coming off Come a little finally. differently. And Things are clicking right now for the Sooners. Brown dragging Ryan Mundy near the goal line. First and goal, OU. Trying to get into the end zone for the first time tonight. And Chris Brown will do it on one carry. Touchdown, Sooners. We got a whole different complexion in the ball game. Well, Chris Brown, whose big work has come in big games, five of his nine touchdowns came in two games versus Missouri, it is good for OU's first touchdown here tonight. I remember we were talking to Kevin Wilson, the offensive coordinator, about Chris Brown. And, and they're going to try yeah. for the two-point conversion here. I think this is early to go for yeah, two. I, I would agree. I think this is a little bit early in the game to go for two. And the pass is incomplete. In at the end of the game, maybe a whole different, different than yeah. it is right now. I agree with you. They are right side kick attempt. Onside kick recovered by the Mountaineers. Well, you know what, Terry? You, you said the two-point play was too early. Oh, the onside man. kick, maybe too early. Ridwan Malik was there to recover the onside kick for West Virginia. Hard line of Oklahoma. Sooners had only attempted one onside kick all year. They did not recover it either. White on the plate fake keeps it trying to get around the left side. He's yeah, you know, I, I think you, you may be a little bit, but I, Bob Stoops does his own thing, you know. Coaches do do their own thing. Oklahoma Blitz. Boy, the Blitz pickup was perfect as White runs himself a first mm -hmm. down. White keeps it again. You know, just a quantum. On second and three, why not stick to Pat White? But the middle is newly clogged on this occasion by the redshirt freshman Gerald McCoy, the big. White hands it off this time, and Noel Devine is in for a touchdown. player whose last name really epitomizes how good the WVU running game has been all year. Divine for six. He's got Oklahoma type speed. Doesn't he, Noel Divine? He yeah. is no quick. <laughs> he really is. Man. Big freshman year for Divine. Well, the redshirt freshman whose uh, high school exploits can be seen all over the internet. And it bounces its way to Joaquin Iglesias, who starts the return at the four. Oh, the flags in the backfield. And Iglesias turns the corner across midfield. McAfee in his way. And Iglesias is wrapped up by the kicker. And Pope. During the return, holding. Number five on the receiving team. Ten yard penalty from the spot of the foul. It'll be first and ten. Yeah, I tell you, he's got some quicks. Uh, he's got he's got speed. Well, you keeps it on the ground. Manuel Johnson splits wide. Oh. 
batted down. Sooners are two of ten on third down tonight. Oh. Bradford's pass is caught by Joe John Finley, well shy of an OU first down. The line is they have been out quick tonight. There, Brian, you say luck follows speed. Nall punting to Vaughn Rivers. Rivers slips at the 19. And he is wrapped up at the 25-yard line. Touchdown. Well, Pat White is a you know walking 40-yard game. <laughs> Devine. He slips between a couple of tacklers. We are inside of a minute remaining here in the third quarter. Lights across the 30. Cuts it back inside. Pat White at the 40, the 30-yard line, and finally taken down by Dominique Franks. He's been injured in four different games, but still had a spectacular season. White flips this. To Raynaud and Darius Raynaud continues to gas the Sooners run defense. Touchdown, West Virginia. The 42 yard run by Pat White and then a 30 yard touchdown scamper by Darius Raynaud. And you know what, Matt? You know, great run, great call, and all that, but Ryan Stanchak, number 62, the left tackle, threw the key block that allowed him to score. There, there's a West Virginia guy right there, Bill Stewart. Right now, it's the quickness and the speed of West Virginia. Oklahoma just can't handle it. The point after is true. McAfee bounces another ground ball up the middle. Iglesias picks it up at the nine. And Iglesias has a lot of space on the right side of the field. Joaquin Iglesias tries to cut it back inside and is tackled at the 48. Respond to that touchdown. Chris Brown alone back to swing past Emmanuel Johnson. He gets around the corner. Emmanuel Johnson runs. I see that furrow he is, Brown. He isn't suffering. No. <laughs> I hate that guy. <laughs> Bradford with the long ball down the middle of the field. His receiver was on his duff and they. Pass interference. Number six on the defense, 15-yard penalty from the previous spot, automatic first down. We will extend the quarter with an untimed down. So an untimed down, and this will end the third quarter. We extended one play here because of the penalty. Yeah. Brown branches across the 25 and is moved by Reed Williams. Well, Bob Stoops trying to put a little octane back into his offense. Fourth quarter underway. Patrick. And he is bottled up at the 22-yard line. But in last year's Tostitos Fiesta Bowl included an overtime period. Chris Brown, the ball carrier. And he's tackled near the first down. He'll be just short as go for the home run. Round the back. Bradford for the end zone. Touchdown OU. Everybody bought on that one. Quentin Cheney adds to his career day. A 19-yard touchdown toss to put the Sooners right back in the game. Absolutely love the call. We were just talking about Kevin Wilson, the offensive coordinator, is a very aggressive play caller. Talk about what he did in the Big 12 championship game. Big 6-5 receiver in the back of the end zone was wide open. The play action fake. Terrific call. Better execution. To keep it on the ground this time. And once again, OU falls short. And the West Virginia Mountaineers. Vaughn Rivers from the goal line. Rivers still going, but taken down by a couple of bodies at the 21-yard line for 241 of the Mountaineers' 377 yards of offense. The home run ball, and there they go! Tito Gonzalez, touchdown Mountaineers! 79 yards, and 
just when you start to worry about Pat White in the running game, they break <laughs> off the big pass play. Yeah, Calvin McGee, offensive coordinator. Great call by Calvin on his way to the University of Michigan. Asked his team whether, hey, would you guys mind if I come back and coach in the bowl game? They said, come on back, Calvin, if you call him like that. <laughs> he ought to be up there clapping. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what, I'd be clapping if I was him too. But again, I'm going back. Oklahoma, you yeah. can't, you can't yeah. stay on the canvas. You just responded. Now you got to get back up and go again. You still got 13 minutes left in this ball game. Now Tito Gonzalez, first career touchdown. And explodes onto the field. Any other time you see a kid that age with a hardwired telephone, too. Joaquin Iglesias from the goal line. <laughs> He's tackled at the 26. Have been right at the middle of their success tonight. The Sooners hoping time won't run out on him. A flag on the oh, play as Alan oh, Patrick is the ball carrier. Holding number 79 on the offense. 10 yard penalty from the previous spot. Repeat first down. First and 20 after the penalty. The 11th of the football game charged to the Sooners on play action. Manuel Johnson. Mm -hmm. Really a tough, good, solid football. Bradford's second down pass caught by the tight end Gresham. He'll still be short of a first down, is it? That he would say that. Third and two. Chris Brown has the Oklahoma first down. Personal foul, face mask. Number six on the defense, 15 yards from the end of the run, first down. Cheney for OU and Gonzalez for West Virginia had less than 200 combined receiving yards all season. And a flag on the play. And there were two fouls, pass interference, number 19 on the defense. That penalty would be enforced from the previous spot, 15 yards. Then there was a dead ball, personal foul, number 21 on the defense. Mm. That penalty will be enforced at the end of the penalty. It will be a first down. One thing, a third, third down penalty. That's, that's, a, good, that's a different deal. Yeah. Jacob Gutierrez is checked in at tailback. Brown checks back in. Bradford has Iglesias all by himself. Touchdown Sooners. Don't count this Sooner team out just yet, Coach Donahue. Oh, I didn't. Yeah. I told you. Get in no huddle offense and fight yeah. the clock. And all of a sudden now, you know, things, things have never gone away. You know, they don't go away like that in football. Well, oh. after two missed two-point conversions, kicking units on the field here. The OU's just got too much history, too much tradition, and too much pride not to play all the way through this game. Not Glacius is one of them. I'm going to tell you, 10 minutes and 20 seconds in a ball game is how you set that up with his bedazzler back in Westwood. <laughs> back in the day. He won one of those. In one of the highest scoring Tostitos Fiesta Bowls ever. Noel Devine takes the kick up to the 30 yard line and played so well in the areas of turnovers. Just keep that ball tucked away. Pat White up to the 35. Schmidt lines up in front of Devine. And behind the convoy, the one man oh convoy, it took one block to break Noel Devine. Touchdown, Mountaineers! A 65-yard touchdown run. The Mountaineers have run for 350 yards on one of the best rush defenses in the nation. McAfee's point after makes it 48-28. Iglesias at the goal line. Twists forward to the 20-yard line before 526 yards of offense by the Mountaineers today. Against a really good Oklahoma defense. Coach Rodriguez takes off. That that's something that left the Mountaineers fans really upset. Bradford on the run. And he's out of bounds at the 27-yard line.
Radford finds Iglesias. He's trying to stay on his feet. He's taken down to 34. Eight minutes remaining. The hand is to Brown, who is taken down to 40. By and all of a sudden, they just bonded together and they played their hearts out and played well. On the play fake. Bradford on the move. And he's out of bounds with the first down. Knuck into the top deck with a cowboy hat on so as not to be recognized and cried when Major Harris left the game with an injury. Bradford up top, and that one's incomplete. You know, you feel down and all, but you've had a great season. You won the Big 12 championship, and you just keep fighting until you can't fight any longer. Well, this is an awfully young... A couple of departures of note on the OU side as well. Bradford looking for somewhere to throw the football, and... Yeah, yeah. Fourth and one. And Brown, the ball carrier, has the first down for the Sooners. Last game as a senior. When you're getting beat in a bowl game like that, like Oklahoma is, that's difficult to take. That's, that's what's hard for him. Yeah. Now, Bob Soups has had back to back games like that. Bradford up top. And Joe John Finley goes up with one of those bear paws. Does he come down with the football? No, incomplete. Play is ruled incomplete on the field. I think Bob Personal was... foul, roughing the passer, number 47, helmet to helmet contact. That'll be 15 yards for the previous spot. Automatic first down. Great job helping OU put together a lot of talent on both sides of the ball. Swing pass to Manuel Johnson. Looking for a block in front of him. It was down on the ground, so. After the play, Personal foul, late hit, mm. number 71 on the offense. 15-yard mm. penalty from the end of the run. It'll be second down. Does. Mm -hmm. 200 combined penalty yards today. Bradford swings it out to Iglesias. What a the flag. Shocker. <laughs> Holding, number one on the offense. 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Repeat second down. Penalty yards tonight. That's what the fans came to see. Yes. <laughs> Penalties and punts. Uh, this, there has been plenty of offense in yeah. this one tonight. It's been a lot of fun to watch. You know, are you kidding? 350 tonight. Bradford on the play fake, and he's taken down from the backside. Bob defense. Yeah, a little, a little yeah. bit better, yeah. Yeah, a little bit better. Kids. There were too many unblocked guys. Fourth and 19. Here comes Johnny Dingle. As Bradford airs it out for the end zone, jump ball incomplete, and WVU will take over on down. I think he has a chance of winning the MVP of the game. Here. I put one. He's got my vote. We got a couple of candidates. He has done it with so many different players, and certainly the guy underneath the center, Pat White, number five, he's been responsible for a lot of it. But... Inside of three minutes as Pat White is taken down at the 37. That, you know, that, that was the difference. Not a coincidence there yeah. at all. But, you know, Pat, you're right. That highlights the importance of the quarterback yeah, position. Just, it really does. It's hard to stay healthy. If, you, if you've got a quarterback, you've got a chance. Iglesias running south to north. And is tackled at the 15-yard <laughs> line. You know, this guy, that guy, he believed. You know, yeah, he, he did. He did he believe did. now. He had us believing by the time yeah. he left that game. Moses Mounted, the redshirt freshman, is across to the 30-yard line. Different bowl game as well. At least to Colorado, an unranked team. Moses Mounted once again for an OU first down. And for the Sooners making their sixth BCS appearance since 2000, it has not been a successful BCS run for Oklahoma. Coach Bill Stewart leads the Mountaineers to a Tostitos Fiesta Bowl victory.